Hi everyone, welcome back to Tech and Life, and today we have a lesson on factoring by decomposition. Now before we get into the lesson, I want to state that decomposition is simply just another method of factoring, and this method is helpful in solving more complex factoring problems in comparison to problems that you'd solve through common factoring, which are typically simpler than these. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, here are the steps to factoring by decomposition. Your first step is to write down your A, B, and C values, which are just the coefficients on each of the terms in standard form. Then, we want to find two numbers that have the same product as you get when you multiply A and C together, so as AC, and they also should have the same sum as the B term. Now once you find those two numbers that satisfy both those conditions, you're going to break your B term up into the, those two numbers that you found. So let's say if your B term is originally 9 and the two numbers you find that work are 5 and 4, you're going to break up that B term into plus 5 plus 4. And the final step is to factor by grouping using the four remaining terms, which is basically just common factoring each pair of terms that are remaining. Before starting decomposition, you should always make sure you common factor as it'll take out the greatest common factor first and then you can actually factor to its simplest form after. Let's look at a couple examples. So this first example is 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 and we need to factor this. So the first step is to write down each of our values. So we have our a value as 2 in 2x squared, the b value is 5, as in plus 5x, and c is negative 12, as seen in the end of the expression. I've also written our a c term as we're going to need that when we find our uh, two numbers to break the b term into. So a c is just negative 12 times 2, which is negative 24. Our next step was to find two numbers that both multiply to give you AC, negative 24, and they should also add to the same value as B, which is 5. So let's come up with two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and add to 5. Pause this video and try to figure it out on your own. When you think you're ready, come back. Okay, so the two numbers that I found were negative 3 and 8. So negative 3 times 8 gives you negative 24, and negative 3 plus 8 gives you 5. Now, the next step is to break the b term up into these numbers, as shown here. So I kept the 2x squared as it is, and this is the b term, so 5 broke up into plus 8x minus 3x, which is the numbers that we found right here, minus 12. And now we just have to factor by grouping. So this is essentially just common factoring using each pair of terms. For example, here we common factored with these two terms and then these two terms. Therefore, we were left with 2x x plus 4 minus 3 x plus 4. And now you can group these together and group these together to get 2x minus 3 and then x plus 4. So this is the factored form of 2x squared plus 5x minus 12. Let's look at one more example. So we're going to follow the exact same steps that we just did. The question here is 2x squared minus 9x plus 9. So our first step was to write out the a, b, and c values, 2, negative 9, and 9. And I also wrote the a, c value again, which is 18. So this means we need two numbers that multiply to give you 18, and they should add to negative 9. Again, if you'd like to pause the video and tr try to figure out what numbers those are, go ahead. Okay, so the numbers I found were negative 3 and negative 6. So negative 3 and negative 6 multiply to give you 18 as the negatives cancel out, and the negative 3 and negative 3 plus negative 6 is the same as negative 3 minus 6, which gives you negative 9. 
Now when we follow our steps, we can now break this negative 9 term into negative 6x and negative 3x. Then we simply factor by grouping. So 2x, x minus 3, minus 3, x minus 3. So you're essentially just taking out the greatest common factor from these two terms and these two terms. As our final factored answer, we're left with 2x minus 3 and x minus 3. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope this really clarified your understanding on the different ways of factoring. And please leave a like on the video, subscribe, and leave any questions or comments down below in the comment section. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.